Hey, how are you guys? It's Dude from Ukraine, and today I'll be talking about a few new products I wanted to show you guys because I saw a lot of you were interested in the mini display to HDMI cable which connects your Mac to any of your displays, T HDTVs, pretty much anything with HDMI. So uh, today I'll be showing you three other products and uh, two of the products are two different ways to connect and the f other one is uh, again another mini display to HDMI but a longer cable which is uh, a lot nicer than connecting it to the other port I showed you earlier. So let's check it out. Um, we have a few products over here. Uh, we have the we have the mini display port mail to toss link audio slash USB mail to HDMI female adapter. I know that's kind of long, but I'll explain that to you guys uh, later in the video. Also, we have the gold plated mini display port mail to DVI mail. A six feet long cable as well. Um, another thing is nice about these cables; uh, they do come with tips on uh, each side of the cable. So if you you don't want to use it anymore, you don't want to get dust in there or like something like that. They do come with little tips, so that's kind of neat. Um, a another cable, as you can see right here, is the mini display port to HDMI. But as you can see, it is a lot longer; it's six feet, so that's really nice. All right, guys. So now you saw the cables. Let's check out the whole deal. Alright guys, so we're going to take a look at the mini display to HDMI first. Uh, I know we already took a look, but this one's a little bit different. This one is 6 feet long, and you don't have to buy a mini display to HDMI port, and then buy an HDMI cable. This one is already there pretty much. It has the HDMI on one side and the mini display on the other, so it makes it a little bit easier. So alright, let's plug it in. And uh, it's very simple, as you can see, I'm plugging the mini display port into the MacBook first. Oops, wrong way. Right there. And I'm gonna move my MacBook real quick. And now let's plug in the HDMI to the monitor. As you can see, we have the HP 279M. And uh, there it is. We're gonna plug in the mini or HDMI port into the monitor. Now it's plugged in. Turn the monitor back around. You do have a little bit of cable hanging there, but you can put it behind your monitor or if your monitor is a little bit away from your MacBook. So it is very useful. And I think now, as you can see, it is plugged in. We're going to wake up our MacBook. As you can see, the MacBook found the screen itself. Now the screen is connected to the Mac. It takes about 10 seconds and it's already connected. As you can see, my video is playing right now and uh, works great. Uh, and it might not look as high quality right now. It actually does look pretty good, but it is screen mirroring. All you have to do is just go to the menu option and choose turn off screen mirroring. And now you have a blank display. So now you can drag your window into the display right here as you can see and watch the videos this way. And it does look a little bit better than screen mirroring. So now that's it for the mini display to HDMI port cable. And uh, I think it's very useful. Great product and uh, a little bit better than the product I showed you earlier. So now let's take a look at another product which is a little bit different and has different connections. Now let's take a look at the mini display port to the DVI. I do not have a DVI plug I believe on the monitor um, but you can do it on some monitors so if your monitor has the DVI mail uh, output then uh, you can plug it in as you can see right there there's the DVI mail and the mini display port on the other side so you can do it that way I will not demonstrate this to you because I do not have a monitor with the, the DVI on it but uh, this is just another option you can use so they have plenty of options to choose from as you can see the DVI if you have a DVI monitor this is a uh, cable for you so now let's take a look at the final cable and uh, show you that solution as well now the final cable I'm going to show you is very useful as well. Um, these cables do work with, you know, not only MacBooks, they work with Mac Pros, the newer MacBooks, um, the Mac Minis, and the uh, iMacs, and things like that. So these are pretty useful cables. And this is the Mini DisplayPort Mail and Toslink Audio Slash USB Mail to HDMI Female Adapter. Um, I know this kind of sounds confusing, but um, to show you up close again, there it is. You plug in your 
HDMI cable into there, which you have to buy separately, unfortunately. Um, and also, there is on the back, there's a few cables right there. So there's three cables, one for audio, one for mini display port, and one for USB. This kind of looks like um, the cinema display is set up. You have a USB, you have a mini display, but you don't have an audio. Uh, it's already um, works like, like that. So uh, let's plug it in and uh, let's see how this works. So as you can see here, we have our cable right here, and uh, it works pretty good. As you can see, I'm going to plug in my USB in one of my USB slots. And uh, just to make a note, uh, this cable is not very long, so if your computer is quite a bit far away, it's not that big of a deal. You can buy a longer USB cable, so that works perfect. And uh, here is the mini display port. We're going to plug that in to there, like so. And here's the audio. We're going to plug in the audio as well, right there. And now that is plugged in, now we have to take our HDMI cable, which I have right here. Right here is the HDMI cable, I just use this for my Xbox 360. This is a bit long, but just for purposes of this video, um, this will have to do. So, you just plug in your HDMI into there like so. Now we're going to go back to our monitor. So as you can see, here's our monitor, and uh, just the way like the other one worked, we're just gonna plug in our US or our HDMI cable into the back of the monitor, like so. Now we're gonna turn our monitor, and as you can see, this is the setup. Once everything is plugged in, the red light lights on to let you know everything is plugged in, and you can hide these cables. You can do whatever you want. Just again, for purposes of this video, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now as you can see. Again, it works the same way, no problems at all. Um, you can use Dragon Windows onto the display, or you can um, turn on screen mirroring as well, and you'll have that playing. Now, I'm going to quickly play my video to show you how it works, actually, um, how audio makes a difference. As you can see, the audio cable is plugged in, so we're going to fast go back a little bit in the video, and we're going to hit play. And finally, they're here, and I'm really, really excited for this. I purchased it. As you can see, I'm unboxing the video and, and you can hear me talking. Now we're going to unplug this, we're going to play the video, and you cannot hear anything. So this cable does work really good and helps a lot um, with audio. Yes. It's nice how the audio works and you can also screen share or screen mirror as well. Also, I decided to give uh, a couple of these cables away just because I don't really need all of them and I'm sure uh, one of you viewers can use it and uh, for appreciation also for the support you guys shown and the interest in the video and uh, so here it is. I'm going to give away this mini display to HDMI little port right here which uh, you can purchase on www.cablematters.com uh, but I will be giving one of these away and also will be giving away this one right here mini display port to DVI so if you need this um, all you have to do is just leave a comment and uh, I'll just randomly pick a couple winners and to win these cables so I don't know if you will be able to use them or not but hopefully you will and or if you can maybe pass it to your friend or your family member or something like that but I'll be giving these two away just leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe just to rules like that Alright guys, so I hope you find this video very useful, and uh, I would appreciate if you guys rated 5 stars, uh, drop a comment. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer your questions as best as I can, and maybe also you can private message me on YouTube. I'll be sure to answer your question as well on there too. And uh, you can find these cables on www.cablematters.com. I'll post a link right here. And so you can see a uh, very nice useful website They have tons and tons of cables to choose from and they're adding more and more every day. So uh, very nice site, also great prices and great customer support. I'm really happy with their service and uh, definitely if you need a cable, check them out. They have tons to choose from and uh, they have more options like this available as well. This is just the three I was talking about. If you have any requests, be sure to let me know. I'll try to get my hands on the cable and uh, so it can help you out. Um, but uh, again, like I said, these cables are pretty useful. Um, they work great in any situation pretty much. And as you can probably figure, um, each cable works in like for a different situation as well, uh, like I said earlier. But um, I think that's it. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.